the ultimate grinder back with another Red Dead Online video. So if at the end of this video, you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, please, it really helps the channel. In this video guys, I have for you an amazing method to make a lot of money in Red Dead Online. It is extremely easy. Everybody can take advantage of this awesome method and you can make around 200 250 dollars depending on what horse you have and you know um, but in the end the first step is to do the passive mode glitch do the passive mode glitch if you don't know how to do the passive mode glitch I will leave you guys a link in the description um, it is super easy by the way so once you're done with the passive mode glitch go to roads okay and start a mission from this guy okay you start a mission in Rhodes and you make a lot of money a lot of XP and a lot of gold nuggets you can also do this method in New Austin uh, you know you probably heard about this method with this mission and okay but if you had a hard time you know to get a hunting mission over and over and over again um, you will really really like this method because during this video, I will give you guys tips and tricks on how to do this method with basically every mission in the game, okay? So from here, make sure you're in roads. You can also start a mission from this guy. He's giving hunting missions as well. So if you're on your way to enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so first guys, start a mission from this guy. Doesn't really matter what kind of mission you will get. I will show you guys throughout this video tips and tricks on how to adapt this method to other scenarios. Okay, because you can get some other type of missions, you know. But it is so fast, so effective, you can adapt this method to any situation, basically. As you can see, the yellow circle is very close from this mansion, which is awesome. If you get a hunting mission, sometimes this yellow circle is very close from the city of St. Denis. So basically, if it is the case, um, simply go ahead and kill spoonbills, gators, you know, and birds in St. Denis for 20 minutes and then go to the yellow circle, okay? This is one way you can do this with another scenario, okay? But if the yellow circle is very close from the mansion, and if you did the passive mode glitch, once you're in the mansion, you don't need to pick any other items. You can go directly to uh, the bedroom, you know, where there's the piece of jewelry. You pick the jewelry and you go outside. As you can see, I don't need to go all the way back to the alley, which is an awesome advantage. For sure, it speed up the process like crazy. So from here, guys, you simply need to go back outside. I will show you guys again um, that you simply need to go past the little trailer. Okay. So I started this method at 5.42 a.m. Yesterday. By the way, so as you can see now, I still have a lot of time. So make sure you have a timer. Because once you start the mission, you have 20 minutes. If you wait too long, you will fail the mission and you will basically lose uh, all the XP out of this method. But also you will lose uh, the gold nuggets depending on what scenario on what mission you have. Um, but yeah, from here guys, as you can see, you run outside and... You do the same thing. You pick the jewelry and you will be rich in Red Dead Online. But you can also go at some point kill a panther and make even more money. Per run you will make something like... It really depends on how much luck you have in the end. If you kill the panther and there's a bunch of turkeys, like you will in the end make more money. Maybe the other run you will make less money. So if you try this method and you don't make necessarily... A lot of money the first time 
just try to work on that practice it's gonna work because personally i started live on my second channel at 250 dollars and now i have very close from 1000 dollars i spent all my money on the pamphlets all my money i purchased them all like i made 25 dollars 25 thousand dollars in this game and i still have only uh, 1000 dollars you know but I don't know, I really like explosive ammo, but trust me, this method is awesome. As you can see, you need to go over there, kill the panther, you can use the bolt action. And it is super easy. But before you arrive to this location, don't shoot randomly, don't kill NPCs, don't kill any animal. Be quiet. If you want the panther to spawn, okay, make sure you don't... Knew, don't do pardon any noise okay and the panther will be right there every time okay maybe you will also uh, fall on a bunch of birds herons and stuff like that because in this location this is an awesome spot you know to fall on very very good um, birds um, so as you can see now I'm about to sell the stuff I'm gonna sell some other few things because I killed you know a bunch of animals coming to coming to the the butcher so um, yeah on my way to the butcher pardon guys so as you can see I'm about to sell everything I will get like always 20 plus dollars 21 dollars for the panther and ultimately a little bit more for the little birds and the feathers now I need to go to a fence obviously to sell the jewelry so let's go boy go to the fence there we go so I will get another twenty dollars or something like that but later on in this video you'll see guys I will get even more money I will get more jewels in the mansion and I will get an insane award at the end it is pretty dope you get a lot of xp a lot of money at the end as well like nearly 30 dollars like at the end of the mission as well so that, that's big money in red dead online and everybody can do this method it is not hard you don't need to know how to spawn the kogara or the panther you know you just need to follow very very simple tips and tricks and make money in red dead online and if you're already a subscriber on my channel Maybe you wonder why, why he's not talking about the giveaway this time. Um, well, the giveaway is still active, like always, as you guys know. There's no fake giveaways here. Sometimes I have a hard time to send the game to the person because we are living in a different area of the world, you know, in a different location on the planet. But ultimately, guys, uh, if you want to get an additional chance to win, um, and if you're still watching at this point, um, my favorite sport is golf. So just put uh, golf in the comments and you will get an additional chance to win. There we go guys. So from here as you can see I am still picking jewels like crazy. It is so sweet. I really like this method. It is so easy. And yeah, nothing can go wrong with this method by the way. Uh, this time I will not go get a panther, okay? Um, you can do it if you want. Uh, I was maybe a little tired at 5.40 a.m., you know. But certainly you can go back and kill another panther. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff once you're in this mission for sure. But I really think the key point of this video is the fact that the yellow circle can be closed from the mansion or closed from... Um, you know, uh, close from Saint Denis, but also if you fall on, if the guy is asking you to deliver some um, wagons or stuff like that, just leave the wagon close from the area from the the mansion and go deliver the wagon, and in the end you will make a lot of money as well. You will simply make more missions per hour. That's all. So from here guys, uh, like I said, you can go kill a panther, but from here I went in the yellow circle to make sure 
to not fail the mission. Okay, I was very, very close from um, the limit. Uh, I think I even waited 21 minutes this time. Okay, so maybe you can you can wait 25 minutes, but I'm not sure. To be safe, guys, set the timer to 20 minutes when you start the mission. From here, you need to obviously go back to a to a fence or to the Kugar or Penter location. Really up to you guys. But yeah, from here I will go sell the jewels. I will go back to the mansion and I will rinse and repeat this method for another 12 or 13 minutes. Okay, because if you do it too long, you need to kill the wolf. Okay, and there's a bunch of wolf. Make sure you have tonics or stuff like this. Make sure your aiming is not fucked up, you know, because you will have a hard time, trust me, to kill the wolf. Can look stupid, but make sure to eat something before you go there. By the way, you can't, um, you know, uh, skin the wolf. Uh, the extra wolf, because you need to kill a black wolf, then you need to kill uh, a bunch of other wolf, okay? So as you can see now, I'm showing you that it is completely legit, because I am still in the same mission. Now it's telling me, search the area for clues, okay? So yeah, I just found a clue, I think. Is it a clue? No, 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 it's a piece of jewelry. There we go. So from here, guys, you need to pick as much jewelry as possible. I recommend you to leave this area around 9 minutes left in the mission, so you will have plenty of time to kill the wolf. And if you still have extra time, I have for you another method to add money on top of this method, okay? So now I'm about to skip the video to the part where I go to the wolf because I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. I don't want to skip this video too much either because it is 100% legit, super easy, uh, even more easier if you do, you know, the passive mode glitch. Alright guys, so, like I said, you can't skin the wolf, okay? But, ultimately, you can kill a bunch of spoon bills in Kaliga Hall, okay? You probably already know this location. There's also a bunch of alligators. So I really like to kill gators. It's a nice way to make money, you know. You can also use your lasso to um, not not to sell the wolf, apparently. No, you can't. All right, but you can certainly use your lasso and bring an additional alligator with you to the butcher or even the panther at this point. If you're very fast, if you like to kill panthers, maybe you think you have enough time, so you go ahead and you kill the panther, but play safe, guys. Make sure to not fail the mission. Make sure you deliver the wolf just like me in the last 10 seconds of the mission. You will get an insane amount of money. $28, 700 plus XP every time. But also gold nuggets, depending on what scenario you have. So I really think it is an awesome way to make money because now I'm not done. You know, I need to go to the butcher, but also to the fence to sell some extra stuff. And in the end, I will end up with nearly $900. And I don't know why. Uh, after I end up the recording of this video, I had some extra plumes. Um, I can see the plumes right now. I don't know why. It's so weird because I end up with an extra $10. But yeah, you can't really see it. So it's not, it's not very important in the end. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes there's weird bugs at the book, at the butcher in this game. This is why some of my friends are calling the butcher the bitcher. Which is pretty funny. So yeah. Hello, mister. I'm back. It's the first time you see me. Really? Damn.
Alright, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn the notifications on by clicking on the bell beside the subscribe button. Always remember that I give back all the money I do in giveaway. So thanks for watching, guys. And